With bout number four, and this is one of the fight that everybody is waiting for. And it's going to be a waterweight contest over six rounds. It was a fight between two wonderful coaches, and we have two boxers representing their gymnasium. And this is bout number four. Wherever you are, you're live on Max TV, the best TV station in sports entertainment and more and this is a waterweight contest over six rounds officials for this bout judge one richard gatte judge two nat obain and judge three david nete now introducing the boxer fighting now from the blue corner and this evening he came to the ring with a weight of 146 pounds from the Fifth Square Boxing Gymnasium under the tutelage of one of the assistant trainers of the Black Bombays of Ghana, Coach Latekwe Latte. And this is the boxer who is making his debut today, presenting to you the boxer, Kofi Dana. Crossing over to the red corner. And this evening is spotted in the blue and white trunks, red gloves, and blue shoe to match. From the Panics Boxing Gymnasium, the gymnasium that won the best boxer of season number one. Under the tutelage of Coach Imana Yaboa, aka Coach Yi. And this is the boxer who came to the ring with a weight of 148 pounds. Official record. Three fights, no defeats, no draw, three wins. All the three wins came by way of knockout. Presenting to you the boxer, Fao Mensa. And the man in charge of this fight is Nathaniel Nikwe Kote. So we are still reminding you of the Max FM and Max TV TZ Festival tomorrow at the fork out of Max TV just close to Kokompe Junction. So we are ready for that interesting bout between Kofi Dana and Fao Mensa. The man in charge of this fight is Nathaniel Nikwe Kote. Yes, so we are getting ready for our fourth bout of this evening. It is the welterweight contest between George Fahu Mensa from the Panex Gym, taking on right, Kofi Dana of the Fifth Square. Fight hard, the fight clean. Kofi Thank Dana. Close. This has to be his debut, fighting up with George Fahu Mensa. Let's see how it's going to be. Judges at ringside round are ready. One. Our referee is ready. Here we go with round one. And it's Fawo Mensa, Kofi Dana having a go at each other. Kofi Dana is in the white trunks adorned with the uh, red and yellow. And Fawo Mensa is in the white trunks with the blue trimmings. This is a welterweight contest. It's also scheduled for six rounds. And so these boxers have the opportunity to show us exactly what they're made of. Quite a weird haircut there from uh, Fawo Mensa. Tries to go in and uh, open up. Fawo seems to be the one pushing out of the blocks. Both boxers are coached by well-experienced uh, coaches. 
coach Latte Kwe Latte of uh, Fit Square. He trains Kofi Dana. And Fawo Mensa is uh, coached by Coach Yi. Wild miss there by Fawo. As you can see, it is Kofi Dana who's trying to set up the pace using his left jab. And that was a right jab there that lands clean for Kofi Dana. Good head movement there from Kofi Dana. George Faho Mansa. It is George Faho Mansa and Kofi Dana. Kofi Dana with a boxer, with a blue gloves. George Fowl Mensa with a red close. It's all about timing. Kofi Dana tries to work the body, but referee separates them. The fight is getting intense as the round grows. It is Fowl Mensa that throws but misses steadily from each boxes. Fowl Mensa landing some couple of shots and it is Kofi Dana who's trying to probe with his jab getting through it's all about timing from both fighters and at this point it's your defense that needs to come to work now you get counted and you get clipped last 10 seconds to go both fighters trying to leave it a toe to toe game here but they get into the clinch game. Now referee has to step in. It's getting intense there. There goes the bell. Round two coming up. All right, here we go for round two. Boxer starts it again. And again, an opportunity for both boxers to show exactly what kind of class they are made of as they have a go at each other. Trying to shape up the drive as they size each other up. Fao Mensa on the receiving end as Dana tries to open up. Sizing each other up. They still haven't opened up, not just yet. Yeah, Prince, as I said earlier on, there's some kind of intensity between these two fighters. And you know, Kofi Dana is really, really poised. He's having a steady moment with an experienced fighter in the name of George Fahou Mensa. And he's making things difficult. But here goes George Fahou Mensa, landing in some couple of shots there. Kofi Dana comes into the clinch game making it difficult for George Fajo Mensa to land but there goes the right hook there that checks on Kofi Dana a left hook there misses from George Fajo a referee steps in word of caution the fight continues taking up the center stage George Fajo Mensa and Kofi Dana Right hook there misses from Kofi Dana. But George Faho trying to time his way through to see if he can land some effective punch. Two fighters sizing each other very well. And that was a right hook there from George Faho Mensa. It really shook Kofi Dana. And Kofi Dana is holding on. George Faho Mensa landed some couple of shots there. And Kofi Dana is also retaliating. But I must say, that punch really rocked Kofi Dana there. But props to him. He's still fighting on. And that right hook there from Kofi Dana. He's fighting on. Taking the fight to John Faho Mensa. John Faho Mensa also retaliates. John Faho goes to the body of Kofi Dana. And the goals in the clinch game. Referee have to step in. Intensity going on there from Kofi Dana and John Faho Mensa. Well, I like the way Fao opened up there. And of course, it's also so 
uh, showed us how lethargic uh, Dana is in his defense. He's taking a couple of uh, punches. He also tried to come back, opening up the uh, bout. But again, we saw the resistance uh, put up by uh, Fao Mensa. Kofi Dana obviously and clearly has the heavier of the uh, of the throws and the punch. Fao Mensa trying to use a little bit of sleekness to adjust to his bout. There goes the end of the uh, round. Round three. Filled with explosiveness, action packed. The welterweight contest between George Fajo Mensa from Panic's Gym and Kofi Dana from Fit Square. Two very uncompromising boxers who are having a go at each other. It's round three. This bout is scheduled for six, and we are watching a welterweight contest. And uh, there you see Coach Yin in the Coach Yi in the background telling Fao something and Fao giving him indication that patience, my coach. Patience is the key word. Again, tries to open up again. Dana nearly went down. Prince, I must say, Kofi Dana has some good chin there. Receiving some punches, but he's still standing on his feet. Yeah. And he's moving forward. And you know, he's making things difficult for Fao Mensa because Fao Mensa also needs to have his defense ability on par else he could be clipped from a counter punch from Kofi Dana. Kofi Dana was going in for the inside game but George Fowl Mensa smartly goes in for the clinch game and George Fowl Mensa lands a right hook but Kofi Dana is still coming on. Trying to probe with his job. But now George Fajo Mansa changes his tactics. Trying to go in with a counter game here. Fighting from the back foot, George Fajo Mansa. The fight taking off the center stage. And it is Kofi Dana who lands a left hook. But you know what? Anytime Kofi Dana comes in, George Fajo Mansa swiftly, smartly. Goes in for the clinch game. Fight goes on. George Fajo Mensa in the red gloves and Kofi Dana in the blue gloves. It's a round three of the welterweight contest. Both fighters sizing each other up. George Fajo Mensa. Trying to be smart there, but it is Kofi Dana who is still fighting on. Kofi Dana lands two combination. George Fajo Mensa trying to get into the inside game. Kofi Dana now trying to end the round strong from Kofi Dana. Showing some good movement there from Kofi Dana, but Fajo Mensa chases on. It's all about timing from these fighters. George Fajo Mensa trying to land a punch, but Kofi Dana is making this difficult for him. And a right hook misses there from Fajo Mensa. Last 10 seconds to go. George Fajo Mensa, another right hook missed from, and there goes the bell. And then the trickery to see whether he can clip a big punch or two. It's not happened for him as yet, but round four gives both boxers an opportunity to have a, a go at each other again. And uh, as a guest towards the uh, closing stages. And again, if you watch the corners, careful instructions are being issued by Coach Latte Kwe Latte and uh, Coach Yi. Again, Dana trying to see whether he can put Fawo in the corner. Fawo works himself out of trouble, lands one to the head of Dana. Dana comes forward. Good head movement there from George Fajo Mensa. And as you said earlier on Prince, there have been some pep talk from both corners. And it seems George Fajo Mensa is trying to fight from the back foot here. Trying to bait Kofi Dana. And he can land some counter punch. If he has some defensive laps. But Kofi Dana, talking about stamina, he still has it. But there goes one two combination from Jot Fajo Mensa. And it's taking the hits to Kofi Dana. Jot Fajo Mensa 
landing some couple of shots, going to the body of Kofi Dana. One two combination, body shot from George Fajo Mensa. But Kofi Dana is still standing strong. Yeah, he shook his hands there. And there goes Kofi Dana. Let's see if he can also retaliate from the couple of shots that he received from George Fajo Mensa. Fight taking up the center stage is Fajo Mensa against Kofi Dana. Welterweight contest. The heat is still going on at the Bukum Boxing Arena. And it's George Fajo Mensa who's trying to pave his way through with some couple of jab. And it goes to the body of Kofi Dana. And the referee steps in. Word of caution there. For George Fajo Mensa. But the fight continues. Steady close engagement from both fighters. George Fajo Mensa with the red gloves. Kofi Dana with the blue gloves. High intensity game, high intensity matchup from both fighters. George Fajo Mensa trying to land a job, but he misses. He's still going in there. He's trying to land a right hook there, but he misses. Kofi Dana, keenly studying his opponent. It's all about timing and calculation from these fighters. And the last 10 seconds to go. But that is where Kofi Dana wants to bring up the heat. But George Fajo Mensa is so smart. To add to what we've already seen in the first uh, four rounds. Here we go with a uh, round five. Still looking good for both boxers. Coach Yin still is not too happy about something. Still issuing out the instructions. And he wants Fajo to open, us as, open up as much as he can. Because anytime Fowl opens up, Dana is in trouble. Yeah, I agree with you, Prince, on there. And round five, the fight starts stronger. Jot Fowl, who means are trying to land some couple of combination. He's telling Kofi Dana to come on. Let's fight. Let's get a toe to toe in action. Fowl Mensa shows but misses. Kofi Dana gets into the heat once again with Fowl Mensa. steady closeness from both fighters it's all about timing and calculating because as it stands now you in the ring you don't know who is winning so you need to calculate yourself select your punch as well let it land effectively because the judges are also taking notes yeah well sometimes when you're in the ring it's quite difficult but of course, the coaches will also keep tabs on uh, what's been happening in the ring. So they know when their boxers are trailing and uh, where they also know when their boxers are in a comfortable lead, as it were. But judging from the way these boxers are fighting, we could have a split decision or a majority, depending on how the last round will go. This is round five. Foul still moving around the uh, ring, trying to create an opportunity, the space. And clearly, Foul has also exhibited a lot of ring craft yeah. showed a lot of ring craft ship, which is also good for him yeah dana has been coming forward selecting his punches carefully advancing when he can steady fight from both fighters jord fahu mensa and kofi dana Fahou Mensa in the red gloves, Kofi Dana in the blue gloves. Some couple of seconds to go in around five. Is it going to be Fahou Mensa? Is it going to be Kofi Dana? We we'll live to see. And right hook there misses from Fahou Mensa. Fight takes up the center stage. Keely contest. What a left hook there from Fajo Mensa. But going into the clinch game again. Last 10 seconds to go. Let's see what these two gentlemen are made of. And that was a right hook there. That check from Fajo Mensa. 
right hook there. Glazers. It's the last round of the scheduled bout. Six rounds. So far, so good for both boxers. Panics Boxing Gym occupied the eighth position on the league table. Fit Square coming in the tenth position. And so, in terms of points build up, nothing really to separate these two. But they obviously would want to claw back some pride. It's foul mentor from Panics. Taking on Kofi Dana from Fit Square. Kofi Dana in the white trunks with the red and yellow trimmings. And that was a foul Mensa trying to work on the uh, head and then score some vital points. In came the clinch from uh, Kofi Dana. And both boxers would have a go at each other once again, sizing each other up. Trying to uh, open up quickly. And again, this is the only round that they have that they can score some valuable points. That's a good one to the head of Dana. Dana keeps coming forward. Foul looking for that opening to punish Dana. Dana being very careful. A wild miss by Fowl once again. Dana seems to be content with sitting back and then uh, opening up when the opportunity arises. He's not in a haste to give himself uh, to Fowl. Dana now tries to work on the body of Fao Mensa. And uh, this last round has been a lot of clinching, especially from uh, Fao. And Prince, that's where the gas in our stage steps in. Good fighters have done so much well. A lot of energy burned there. And that's where the stamina tests gets into action last 10 seconds to go Fahou Mensa and Kofi Dana and Kofi Dana getting in strong Fahou Mensa showing some show good there show good there for Fahou Mensa to end that round now we have the verdicts Shall we put our hands together for the two boxes? And let me remind you that tomorrow, Sunday, 16th of July, all of us are going to trip to the Max TV forecourt for the Tuozafi Special Festival at 10 a.m. You have to be there in your numbers with your family members. Now we have the verdict. Judge one scored about 59 to 56. Judge 3 scored about 60 to 54. And Judge 3 scored about 60 to 54. So by a unanimous point decision, the winner is the boxer who has fought four times, won three times by TKO. Today he has gone through the distance presenting to you Fou Mansa. Good, 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 good. The two boxes. Kofi, stay here. Stay here, Kofi. Stand here, Kofi. Fou, congratulations. Thanks. Charlie, turn a fight at the end. Fighting all in all the tough. You should be a good boxer. Should be a banner. So far, should be saying that she's a coach. Blau Puma. I last say that DSP are winning. 
Mi, mi, mini tracker is a good boxer. Oh, he didn't even find. It's not like okay. he attacked him very well. Good, good, good boxer. Good boxer. Uh, I'll, I'll get back to you. Kofi Dana, how are you? Yes, I'm fine. Kofi, are you coming from the Upper East region? Yes. Bogatanga, right? No, Tamale. Tamale, oh, very well, from the Northern region. Congratulations, Kofi Dana. Thank you. Kofi, you've lost the fight. This is the first time of being a professional boxer, and everybody is happy with your performance. Congratulations. Thank you. Now, how do you feel fighting against Fowl? Uh, I'm feeling better. You feel better? Yes. So, are you seeing yourself coming back to fight again and win? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Okay, I want you to speak the Bani, your language, your people watching you from Tamale. What message do you have for them? Uh, the message I have of them to they should give they to try and give him more uh, and then stand I will come. I will push myself to win. Okay. Now speaking the Dagbani language. Speaking the Dagbani language. I'm not here in the Bani, Kokumba. So speak your language. Um <laughs> Okay. 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 Thank <laughs> I'm going to fast again. I'm going to support. I'm keeping my support to George Fowler because now I'm expecting your environment. If one within two years short time, you know, now I'm expecting your environment. I'm going to join your support. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Shall we put our together for them?